Here are nine changes that Apex needs to make. The first change Apex needs to make is weapon balancing. Their weapon balancing has been very frustrating lately for many fans, specifically those recently experiencing the double Mozambique meta. Not only has this new shotgun pistol meta been overpowering, but after the recent update for the midseason 22 patch, they had many fans in the comments agreeing that this should have been nerfed along with that patch. However, it didn't happen. It's one thing if you make a mistake and catch it early and decide to make a hot fix, but that's not the case with Respawn. They are known to make changes that cause problems and then proceed to take a lengthy amount of time to actually address them. Number two, Apex absolutely needs this one, and that is better servers. Now, a while back, Apex actually went into a full detailed article as to why they shouldn't actually upgrade from 20 hertz tick rate servers to 30 or 60 like other games use for instance i believe in the earlier lifespan of fortnite it was running on 30 hertz servers and maybe that's still the case today but maybe they've made upgrades however i know that valorant on the other hand has been well known to have 120 tick rate servers while every game experiences their fair share of lag clunkiness server packet loss packet bursting you name it if you've ever played valorant you'll know what i'm saying that that game just feels so smooth but our higher tick rate servers the ones to blame this is basically the argument that respawn had proposed as to why it doesn't necessarily mean that higher rate servers are actually better servers at the end of the day i think we can all agree that apex's servers definitely feel like they need an upgrade for every title out there that i have server issues with they all come with their fair share of specific details and apex specifically is slow looting your run animations just feeling clunky and wrong every red bar you can name in the top right corner and the infamous no bullet registration even to this day and even in the background gameplay that you're seeing there's an occasional time where i hear the noise of my gun actually hitting them but i'm not getting any damage server issues are and have always been way too common for apex and it's definitely something that they need to look into the third change apex definitely needs to make are rewards it's my personal belief that rank play doesn't actually reflect what real competition in Apex is, and that's a topic for a whole new video. But on top of that, when you compare this to other games out there, I think it's safe to say that Apex has some of the most demotivating rewards there are. I remember when rank first dropped back in season two, and it was such an incentive to play ranked get as high of a rank as you could because we all wanted that first taste of the very first apex predator badge but now that we are 22 seasons in that predator badge really means nothing it's so hard to even tell the difference of what season you got it in so no one really freaks out because there's a big difference between season 3 pred season 13 pred and season 22 pred on top of that season 13.1 was a totally different pred than season 13.2 so the badges aren't really that exciting and the trails don't really exist anymore besides the og season two and season three permanent trails all the other ones were made limited time there are so many different variants of gun charms that exist out there and it just doesn't feel like there's actually any cool rank rewards I'm really shocked they haven't done like a fully decked out glowing red Apex Predator in-game legendary skin. And I'm not even saying that that's the way that they should go. I'm just saying I'm surprised they have not pushed the boundaries and tried cooler rewards because I definitely feel like the game's rewards need an upgrade. Before I share the fourth one, there's another one I'm wanting to share so bad, but I'm going to hold off to the end because I think we all agree that it is the biggest change. And number four is matchmaking. There have been so many talking points when it comes to skill-based matchmaking, not only in this game, but other games to exist out there, such as X Defiant. Some to showcase that skill-based matchmaking definitely doesn't need to be as hard as it is. Some also indicating that when skill-based matchmaking is turned off, you actually play a lot less. So I don't want to be one of those uneducated idiots that just starts talking unbelievably and saying saying skill based matchmaking needs to be completely demolished from the game however i do think it is definitely in need of being tuned and here's why despite whether or not you point out the fact that skill based matchmaking existed in some of these og games that we give credit for for not having skill based matchmaking even though it did i think we can all agree that there is an obvious outrage in the community now that was not in the community then to be honest with you i think it's because just gaming in general is changing the culture is becoming more experienced and those that were 40 
40 year olds 10 years ago were not playing as much as the 40 year olds of today because the 40 year olds 10 years ago were 30 year olds still playing and they never really lost sight of it 10 years ago you didn't see many pro players over the age of 25 in these competitive fps shooters nowadays you're seeing multiple 30 year olds still being professional esport players such as clayster from call of duty and a lot of these guys are still at the top of their game apex is a great game to reflect to because it has so many different age groups reflected in this esports scene and i think in general people are just getting better at video games but despite all the conversations at the end of the day there is an outrage and there are frustrations and pain points to be met so what's the solution do we just tell them to suck it up and get better at the game you suck this is the way gaming is or do we provide some alternative that does allow for a more relaxed gaming experience X Defiant doesn't have skill-based matchmaking in the unranked playlist, and many people seem to like that. However, the game is definitely not thriving by any means, but I wouldn't contribute that to their matchmaking decision. To be honest with you, I think three strikes and the respawn modes for Battle Royale were a great way to combat this. It'll be interesting to see how Apex does move forward. Coming in at the number five thing, I think we all know and agree with this one, and I'll keep it short, and that is audio. The audio has been so inconsistent in this game for so long, especially with certain legends like Horizon that for whatever reason would have no footstep audio or no falling audio audio at certain points of the game especially when a lot of you know other details are going on if you had three grenades jumping off and two people shooting and abilities being thrown you best believe you were not about to hear the enemy team walking right on you one starting point i had for this that i've really experienced even in the gameplay you're watching right now i'll get tripped out so much by my own teammates footsteps why do i want to hear my own teammate footsteps i wish they would really take that out the game i feel like it would clear a lot of audio in general because you're not having to distinguish who is who but on top of that it's just one less audio file to play in the background so that the game doesn't get confused and start muting other things like apex has had multiple instances where we know that certain audio bugs happen where you can't hear anything when too many things happen at once you would think one of the obvious solutions would be to get rid of things that don't matter and footsteps from your teammates definitely do not matter coming in at number six this kind of links in with the rewards but i really wish that we had an in-game leaderboard currently if you want to check on your stats you'll have to go to apexrank.com or apex legend status or one of these third party websites and while they do a great job and while i tip my hat to those guys that are able to pull it off i wish apex would get away from not only just stats but also their algs their esports scene i wish you would sign up in the game not go to battlefy.com and try to learn this website can we just stop having to go to tracker websites can we just go in the game and look at our barrack leaderboards like you could in the old call of duties can i just click on the rank leaderboards and see who's top 750 and where my friends are in that list as well and just press a button to sort by console or pc or switch i guess it's really more about features in general but leaderboards is definitely a big one i also wish that theater mode and such existed so many good things that we had in older games that we no longer have and when you ask for them it's suddenly so complicated i understand i'm not a dev maybe it really is all i know is other games out there are doing great things that we aren't the seventh thing apex needs to change is the loot this loot needs to be refreshed so heavily one of the biggest reasons the game feels repetitive and the same is because the loot is identical to what it has always been i think one of the coolest things they did this season was adding this really rare red mythical item supply bin but like more of this please there needs to be more of that dopamine excitement throughout the game and i'm not just saying add more cravers but add more fun you spend the first seven minutes of the game looting and that's one reason i get off as soon as i hot drop and die because i don't want to have to go loot for another seven minutes before i can get back in the action the eighth thing that apex absolutely needs to change this is their communication now i know they just recently put out these tweets that they were going to start communicating and they were going to be transparent with the community but despite the fact that they've said that i don't think many of us have actually felt that or seen action behind it like we'll hear words oftentimes and we'll say w change or w communication i'm so glad you said this but we don't actually see the positive action that they take after the fact like for instance let's combine number eight and number nine together so that i can prove my point and also because i've been waiting and dying to share number nine the biggest thing apex needs to change are the cheaters see respawn said that they had such a cheater problem and that they were doing all of this stuff I and mean, the communication comes out it sounds really nice what have you noticed that despite all the talk and despite all the quote changes that they've made we are still dealing with a terrible influx of cheaters i mean no matter where you go cheaters are everywhere the game is actually playable at the lower rank but once you get to high platinum and especially into diamond there are cheaters all over the place 
now to give some credit where credit is due i would definitely say the cheater issue is like maybe half a percent less worse than what it was last season but let's not make light of the issue the issue is really bad see respawn have said that they've made these changes and that they've banned certain softwares and some people couldn't open their game and that was nice and great but then the next day they figured a way around it and they were right back out of all the changes mentioned today the cheating one is definitely the most prominent that apex needs to change this list of nine changes were heavily inspired by the 25 point list that apex legends streamer and youtuber fade had put together on twitter one of the biggest suggestions he made to combat cheaters are two-factor authentications for apex to be able to play so that you can combat cheaters check out his list down below and what are some things you would have added to this list let us know in the comments like the video and subscribe for more apex legends content and until next time we'll see you all later